Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. What is he talking about here? What do we have to mourn? What is he talking about? There is a disease that is given prominence in the Bible largely because it is a representation of sin. And it is the disease of leprosy. Leprosy is a slow-acting disease that proves fatal. Now they have, I believe, treatments for it today. But in ancient times, it would slowly destroy your body. But here's what would happen. It starts in the extremities, in your fingers and your toes, and then your hands and your feet. And you lose the ability to feel. You become more and more numb until you cannot feel anything anymore. And so what happens, you might close your fingers into a car door and you wouldn't even know it. You wouldn't feel a thing. Or you hit your hand with a hammer and you don't feel any pain. Or you put your hand on a stove and it's burning and you don't feel the burning sensation. And some of you might think, man, that would be great not to feel pain, but you misunderstand. Pain is there as a warning. It is a warning that you are doing something dangerous. And what happens with people with leprosy? Because they cannot feel, they abuse their fingers and their toes and later their hands so much that they basically fall off. They lose them. Because they have become dead to the pain. That is the world that we live in today. We don't mourn anything. How many of you have ever mourned the crying of the literally thousands of young children that are ripped out of their mother's womb through the process of abortion and are cast into the dumpster outside? Literally thousands of days, but nobody mourns for them. How many mourn when we look at our politicians and we understand that they have to lie, cheat, and steal. They, that all they say is lies, but nobody, it's the way that's done, you know. That's what you have to be to be a politician. And we don't mourn for our institution of government and how corrupt it is. You look at these global companies that rip people off right and left just so they can make another dollar so their investors can have a little better return on this quarter. And we do not mourn for that. Do you look at the devastation and destruction of the families that's going on in America? Why? Because of sin. Because of the immorality. Because of the adultery. Because of the fornication. Because of this. All, how many families are just destroyed? And nobody really mourns for that. We look at all the lifestyles. We don't mourn over people that are caught up in destructive lifestyles. In fact, our big call word is toleration. We want to tolerate everybody doing everything, any relationship. In fact, we'll, we'll make them a flag and we'll have a parade for them and march down Main Street America in unity of people that are practicing lifestyles that the Bible said is sinful and destructive. But we don't mourn that. But now let me, let me focus it a little bit more. Do you mourn your own sin? Do you mourn for yourself when you do things that you know are not morally and ethically right? Do you understand John 3.16 when he says, For God so loved the world, that when he says the world, that he's talking about you. For God so loved you that he gave his Son to give his life for your life. And do you understand that when Jesus 
prayed so hard that he said, if there's any way, please let this cup pass from me. When he prayed so hard that his capillaries burst open and he sweated blood. When he saw Judas walk up to him and betray him with a kiss. Do you realize that was you that did that? That was your sin that caused that. Do you realize that when they took Jesus and stripped Him of His clothes and beat Him to within an inch of His life, that was you. You did that. Do you realize that when they hollered at Him and mocked Him and taunted Him and said, Crucify Him, you were in that crowd. You were there. Do you realize that when they took Him and spread Him out on a cross and took a spike and a five-pound hammer and knocked those nails through His hands and His feet, that was done because of you. Because of you. Have you ever mourned for your sin? for what you have done to cause God to hang on a tree. You see, He did not come so you could turn over a new leaf. He came so that you could have a new life. And the second key to entering the kingdom of God is to be able to mourn for yourself to such a degree that you want to cry out to God, God be merciful to me, to me, a sinner. If you are there, then that's, that's a good thing. That's where you need to rejoice. Take your mourning. Go to the cross. Repent. Be saved. And be comforted. Be comforted. 